11 points this evening, and he will almost certainly hit 100 career goals before we see him back here again. He is Shane Ford. I think there's a, a, good, a high likelihood of it. Um, Shane, what Coach was just talking about, the way you guys are playing right now, not caring who scores the goals, just moving the ball, doing the right things. Can you kind of take me through, as a veteran on this team, how important it was for you guys to start clicking that way offensively? Oh, it was incredibly important. Like, we, were, we weren't doing that in those hard games beginning of the year. That was more selfish lacrosse. And now when we start uh, going against these easier teams, we're, like, focusing on moving the ball, trying to actually play good offense. So when you play, like, a York again, we're going to be on the same page. We're going to know what to do. And we're just going to ball out. Uh, it, that was what we've been talking about a little bit. Like, the, how, do you, how confident are you where, where this team is? Again, going through the struggles that you went through to begin the year, but playing better lacrosse and being ready for some of those bigger games that are still to come this season. I don't think the rest of the MAC is ready because <laughs> we got we had Cam Ladig was hurt most of the year. Josh Bannon was hurt most of the year. I'm still in a boot. We have got Ryan Coleman who was hurt most of the year, and now we're all getting healthy. All of our fifth years on offense, so we're gonna we're in a really good spot. It is showing right now. Uh, it, it, by the way, I'm not. I, your coach was like, "Hey, he's up on that a little bit. Let's not let's not give any bulletin board material out right now." Um, MC and I have been uh, big fans of the the Shane Ford spot on the field right now, which is that sort of little I don't know four yard angle that you've been comfortable from. Has that always been? I mean, we've seen you do so many different things, working from behind, taking on contact, but that shot in particular this year has sort of been your almost go-to, your bread and butter. Where did that shot come from? Uh, it's got to come when I was in college because I was uh, – when I was in high school, uh, the goalies were pretty bad and the defense the defense was pretty bad, so I could just run right by them, right. easy goal. But then I'm like, I get my hands free, I can see an open spot in the goal, so I just got to let it fly. It's been really good, man. It's been really good. Where did the toughness come from, Shane? Like we we joke about it a lot, and like the catchphrase is great, but you really sometimes just go in there like a madman and don't care. Where does your toughness come from? If you're not tough at Stevenson, you're not going to get on the field. Yeah. So that's what I kind of learned when I well, when I got to Stevenson. You got to make some big boy plays. <laughs> and and in high school, I'd just run through people, get leveled. But if it went in, I wouldn't care. Right. It'd feel good. Hey, man, that's what no. no you know, it, it feels better in those yeah. moments, right? Uh, all right, so we've been trying to get to know everybody better this season. I want to know from you, give me the last show that maybe you binged recently or a show that maybe you're working on right now. South Park. Okay. <laughs> South Park. That's so funny. Yeah, I agree. I've been losing my mind for like the past week and a half you, just you, binge watching South Park. You, you want to drop like a Cartman impression or something like that on it? I us? can't do that. I can't do that. I'll work on it. Next time I'm up here, I got you. Shane, who are we shouting out, man? Who do you want to say hello to? Uh, Debs, Sam Ross, and Corey is strong. Follow him. There you go. Shane Ford, congratulations, man. Uh, hopefully we'll be celebrating that uh, career goal number 100 with you the next time we see you. Thanks for coming up here and hanging out with me. Nope.